So Boris is mentally yeah. recording this. Sal is physically recording this forever, and I just started. So hello, everybody. Welcome to Space Engineers. <laughs> Hi. I was oh, hoping God. you'd say you just virtually record things to, to make that, you know, adjective leap that you were trying to create there, but all right. Yours you works a... too. <laughs> Video graphic memory. Video graphic what? memory, sure. Like a more photographic memory. He is memory. recording it on his hard drive, with it, which is just digital memory space. An unrelated question, uh, uh, orange test chip. Do we need that still? Orange it's test chip. So, no. <laughs> orange test chip. We had a great bonding experience with it in the last episode. You really wrote oh. it. We crashed it against a voxel. We had loads oh, of seeds. Oh, the one that, that, yeah. that didn't break. Oh, yes. right, the indestructible. We need to put it in, put it in a museum. It belongs oh, in be a museum. Hard. The thruster is still on. I probably oh, really? shouldn't have been um, surprised then for the sake of the video. As, I yeah. mean, it's only a few <laughs> days after the last one. Right, yes, <laughs> totally. Entirely remember what happened. Uh huh. Yes, that's right. Like that. Uh, well, you production. did say that you don't remember what's happening when you're recording. <laughs> did he? I don't remember him saying that, funny enough. <laughs> well, that's the difference. I don't know between what yet, but point is, do we need it? Do we track that down or do I just delete it? I think we delete it. Go like. All right. Yes. Sim speed helps. Well, we already, you know, gained about 0.3 in sim speed again, so that's good. Oh, do you know, I thought I thought I was having some sort of graphics issues or something. I just realized it's just that my screen's really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been able to actually dirty my screen in the first place. I don't it's understand. It's just dusty. <laughs> um, I don't. Hmm. I don't think dust exists here. Then this uh, doesn't, just well, dust doesn't. Dust doesn't exist. That's right. You are, maybe it's yeah. just falls very evenly. All right. So this um, <laughs> this thing we're grinding down is far far away from anywhere we want to put the stuff we grind. Can you bring it That's closer? That's a fair here? point. Um, I could if I wouldn't be currently stuck in the middle of the planet chasing down parts of a rocket watch. Boris, do you still need that? <laughs> Not the bits that are inside a planet. <laughs> like a puzzle. Like a, it's like a yeah, jigsaw. <laughs> I have to dig to the jigsaw. core of the planet <laughs> to pick it up. Right. That's a very cruel puzzle. Who? Are you Who? are you asking me if I Who? want to keep the thing that's in the core Who? of a planet? Yes, that's ex that's Maybe? exactly what he's asking you. Yeah. Uh, there's there seems to be a problem with connectors. No, that's fine. Is that okay? Is that uh, just a graphical? Uh, yeah, that's no, just trouble with connectors. Well, we, we there's a problem with them, but the, it also makes things indestructible. So there's also a positive thing to them. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was what I was testing. It wasn't about whether or not it could jump. It was about whether or not things would break right. if I had a small ship attached to a big ship on a connector. And we proved Are you going to try that, them now? That, that it does work, that all is well. Nothing will break. It, but it's only, it's only um, uh, protection against voxels. Mm-hmm. Which is good for drilling. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe not the one we're playing on. But we probably shouldn't test that. Where? That how do you fly long. your? Not your fa your factor. There it is. Okay. Um. Try the homebrew. Uh, it should have the main cockpit in it. All right. I am about to for science a few things here. I am going to for science whether or not you can jump with a small ship attached to a big ship by a connector. And then if that works, I'm going to try drilling something, but I'm going to be a bit heavy with my drills and see if I can break a drill with um, with the thingy attached. 
I like how you put it on like a 10 foot barge pole at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, I thought, yeah, if it explodes, I don't want it to take anything with it. Where did you do this? Is this on your ship? You've got to get into a positive mindset and put it right next to your <laughs> reactor. That's just, it's just <laughs> mitigation. Oh, here we muscle. go. Yeah, okay, I see what you're up to. Uh -huh. She didn't just want to pull an Anubis. Is that like the invincibility pole? That you <laughs> <laughs> the pole of invincibility. The pole of invincibility. You by lightning. You're moving your ship, right? I'm just not insane? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm moving. I'm just trying to work out which way it doesn't have any other stuff to hit. They made the assemblers better. What? I thought Can you now when, tell it to when, disassemble when, things? Yes. It Ooh. disassembles things automatically if you have it in repeat mode. That's what I've Ooh. wanted since assemblers have existed. Brilliant. So oh, this makes disassembling much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Good thing, thing that we're currently disassembling two whole ships, right? Well, we're not using the uh, assembler to disassemble a little well, ship. I'm, I'm first dis... dis uh, I'll start that again. Anubis, cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm first disassembling all of Minty's mess, and then, then I can do a ship. So are you, are you moving to a safe distance here, Sal? Yeah. I want to make sure if anything explodes, I don't take anything with me. All right, I think you're good. We lost a lot yeah, of garbage so. on the planet. I'm just waiting for the ship to slow down. It's... Excuse me, I lost my house. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I saved my what, house. Just... Halfway. I mean, you lost the garage. Well, the, I didn't okay, lose right? the garage until we got back into space, though. I didn't lose it on the... Uh... It exploded when we got <laughs> to space. It, it, it survived the planet. Ooh, I count that as still on the way home. It, it's like um, you, you drive home from visiting your relatives, and when you're about to pull in your own driveway, you directly, uh, you know, ram your trailer into the hydrant that's standing outside your driveway. Mm, this sounds like a Simpson. You episode. still broke it on the way. On the way. So it didn't survive. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, the very specific example. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of, lot of details in that that we didn't need to know. I wonder if this has actually happened to poor Mir. <laughs> I, I didn't drive sell space caravan into a big fire hydrant that I built in space, no. Um, would someone mind bearing witness? Oh, I'm here. Okay, right. I'm about to do a blind jump of about 12 kilometers. Just do, to see. Do you if... want me to be inside or outside of your little tiny ship thing? Uh, probably outside. Just let me know whether the ship stays behind or if there's any spectacular explosions or anything, and I'll see what happens I'll... at the other end. I'll get in, and then I can witness this. No, no. I want to try it without anything, without anyone in the the little ship, just in case. Stop that... ruining everything, almond. <laughs> yeah, you want to <laughs> minimize the variables. Hey, I was just instances. about to say, this is Ned Science. You do yeah. all the variables at once. <laughs> I can't! I can't! I'm an engineer and a scientist at heart. I, just I should do just that. reach over and press enter. Uh, I mean, she'll never know if you get in it. Uh, he has a point. Speaking of getting into it, um... <laughs> Well, how many how many passenger seats have you guys welded to that little ship now? <laughs> oh, it's gone. Oh, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, graphical glitches. What's it, going it's on? It's not graphical. It looks like Your it ship took is it with jumping you. around. And all I see is an almond. You Oops. left almond behind. How dare you? Did you exit your ship? I exited yeah. the ship. That was a mistake. Well, Where is everything? It clanged away. <laughs> This is amazing. Yeah, I'm so glad we didn't go with them because what I'm looking at yeah. is way more interesting. <laughs> this is ten times as fun. <laughs> Where is everyone? <laughs> well, I'm in space. Yeah. So am I. So am I. <laughs> um, I don't know where anything is. I'm just out by myself in space. Ooh. 
Okay, what now? And where did where did the thing we're grinding Jonah. down go? Um, I don't see it anymore. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. It was hiding behind the stapler. <laughs> so we got to grind that down first. <laughs> Boris, I arrived at the main wreck of your rocket watch. It seems like you just disconnected all the blocks, and it's now lying there in a big pile of single blocks. But they're all there. <laughs> I don't know how you manage that. Can anybody actually see my ship? Uh, you, when you jumped, it was gone from where we were. I've left that spot now because I'm bored. Whatever you've done is, is um, making the sim speed not fun. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so is the power off? Can, I can't move this thing at all, so... Uh, where is all of your power? Connector, 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 <laughs> batteries. They are on, so I'm assuming they're completely dead. Gyros are on. Where is... Do you have a giant reactor on here somewhere? Are you talking about the homebrew? Um, or the yes. stapler? Well, I'm in the homebrew uh, and trying to fly the whole thing towards the base, but I can't move anything. And that's the... weird. I had the same problem last time when I tried to oh. work things. I'm trying to fly just in my body, I think. Um, I can't get over about seven and a half meters per second. Maybe your ship is still there, but you can't see oh, it. Could be, couldn't it? Let's try flying in the opposite direction. Maybe I'm inside my ship. Oh yeah, look, I can do 11. Oh no, now I've slowed down to 7. You're and a half. inside your ship, inside but you can't ship, see but it. I can't see. Oh, you've got another cloaking ship. I've clo I've got a cloaking ship. Damn it. I need to be able to see it myself though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if I just keep on looking around in circles, maybe I will hit the entry point for the cockpit. You've flown around your ship several times now. Yeah, but I'm I inside. That you'll find it. I'm inside. It's spacious. Spacious. Yeah, but I um, must be roomy. somewhere inside the the cockpit area. Oof. Ouch. That was a carrying Ooh, block. Oh, that that whatever I just did did a thing to the sim speed, so All right. Maybe if I'm I relog. Which one's relog? F5. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for me now, it seems like the uh, the little gravity icon that you have on your bottom right, it's just flashing on and off constantly with gravity underneath, like half circle thing. Just on and off, on and off, on and off. It's a blinky. Oh light. yeah, that's that's normal. Okay. Glad, glad You're that basically at the edge of the gravity well of the um, ship. I calibrated it very finely so that the entire hangar is without gravity and I can keep drones in there. Um, so when you're moving, the gravity field of the ship slightly lags behind you. So that's why it's keeping turning on and off. It's quite interesting. I found your green lander again. Again? Sorry, the Setting Sun launcher again. Yeah, I told you, I've found it several times already and you never wanted it back. It's about 37 kilometers away from you. Too far. It's dead to me. It's dead to you. Okay, the ship came with it. Now throw it at an asteroid. <clears throat> See what happens. Yes, please. And pray to the king gods. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. One of the farthest objects away from any player is Almond. How does that work yes, with I Almond? Yes, I can see you. <laughs> Almond is also the farthest player away from Almond? <laughs> Apparently. Oh. I don't know, maybe they're just talking about me here? That makes sense. I'm 57 meters away from you. Oh, that's very far away. Huh. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, mean, I guess it's relative. The gyro doesn't. If you're trying us. to shake hands, that's very far away. 
Well, not with Keen's weird arm physics. <laughs> really. True. <laughs> <laughs> remember when we used to have spaghetti legs and things? Oof. Oh, I remember the spaghetti legs and arms. They were fun. Yeah. I I miss the massive tools. That's, that was my favorite. Oh, the massive tools. That's right. <laughs> we found that in one of those events we did, right? Like the roid grab, yeah, I think. Yeah, roid grab. Two yeah. or three? Two or th yeah, something like that. It was funny. Where am I shoving my stuff? Um, <laughs> that's a personal question. <laughs> <laughs> um, into Boris's base and pretend it's Minty's garbage. That's what I've been well, doing all along. I've been doing. Sure, you could do that because disassembling's fun now. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to be building uh, something else, but I just got carried away with disassembling. Well, I, I'm bringing over the, the the thing here that wants to be disassembled. Wow. That sentence made no sense. One. <laughs> I'm bringing over this device, the contraption that wants to be disassembled, and you like disassembling, so I figured that this would be. Hang on. Do you heaven. mean disassembling as in I have to actually grind it down? That's the detail I was leaving out on purpose. Oh. I was talking Good about staring at an inventory and watching numbers slowly go down. Yeah, I know you were. <laughs> but I guess I could do the grinding bit too. Am I gonna crash? Ooh. Ooh, what? We're, we're, we're back to right. server sim speed one. I I guess cleaning up helps. Should I should, can I actually remove almonds? <laughs> <laughs> I like how he slowly turned around to look at me. <laughs> Why does he keep circling back to Almond? Hang on, what have you done? Where did the sim speed go? Did you actually I... just remove him? <laughs> no, <laughs> he's still there. I yeah, still things went, went nasty there. Oh yeah, I don't know what happened. Am I tried to load in speed problems. <laughs> yes, you are the sim I'm... speed, Almond. I'm too complex to render. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make things worse by attempting to drill a thing in a moment. That's all right. I'm still cleaning up rocket watch parts. I guess when you're loading stuff in, Mayor, that's when it's doing... Probably, but I thought I had most of everything already. I mean, it might be my science that's causing the problems, but we won't really know until we eliminate all the other variables. Starting Just with all that's quite ag aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> the science! <laughs> New monster. Ship never used to be quite so slow at stopping. Well, you did weld a long invincibility pole at the end. Do you think that's it? Oh, well, yeah. Let's see how you, how quickly you stop when somebody puts a stick up your butt. <laughs> well, it's not up at the bump of the ship. Giant. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Almond is, according to this, currently 116 kilometers away from me, or from the nearest player. Almond, you didn't. Oh no, it still wouldn't be. I was wondering, was anybody inside the little ship when I jumped? No, you all. You told oh. us to get out, so we obliged, yeah. and then you well, left I, us behind, I, and we were sad. <laughs> well, you could have lied. Just because I said didn't mean that I think you necessarily did. No, you were pretty adamant about it. It was all about science I and things. I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> I, I think Minty might not be coming. <laughs> I think he may have fallen asleep. He collapsed on his way to the computer. I, I should call tell him, him we'd, we'd be playing Battlegrounds later. That usually keeps him awake for this stuff. Uh, and I wish I could call him. I don't have. For some reason, I have 
Apple's number, who's on the other side of the planet, but not Minty. Uh, I have a number like from Minty. 200k away. You do? I do, but it might have been the number of the f- of his mate's phone that he borrowed when he was oh, in the UK. So it number. might not actually be Minty's. Old Old phone. phone. There's no way to find out. <laughs> Mid science. <laughs> oh, I I'm not sure if I'm supposed to tell any of you this, so I might as well do it in a recording and tell everyone. everyone. <laughs> uh, Minty and I should be meeting up this this Thursday, which means nothing to anyone watching. Like three months ago. Ah. Uh. Um, that was not yeah. the direction I was hoping it would go in. <laughs> it sounded cool. like you're going to come out right. and tell us that you're going to marry him this. Well, that's why they're meeting. That no, that's ha- that's happening on Saturday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm upset. I didn't get an invitation. I know I would have definitely chosen the beef. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of, you know, chicken, chicken soup. <laughs> Just the beef. <laughs> right, drills on. <coughs> I'll select the tablecloths. And make sure they don't match with anything. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think I'm close enough. I'm going to get out here. Did you whack anything? Sadly, <laughs> I, well, I left that for you. I know that's that's your pleasure in life. Not, not whacking not, something. Not, not really. Oh, crumpets. Oh, no, Boris. You should move. You're apparently farther oh, away now. I'm dead. No. Hey, I just want to clip this uh, with a corner. And this is If anybody was wondering why I was moving that so slowly, it's because of what just happened to me. I didn't want... Because right now things are going fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. And if you are not careful, uh, you'll go fast right into things and die. And I didn't want to do that with somebody else's ship. Well, we're grinding it down anyway. True, but we were trying to save all of the stuff. Also, oh, maybe. Did... What? what? Oh, what? What happened to my my super grinder? My super grinder's gone. It was in my body, and then I and then my my body has no super grinder, so I have to go make another super grinder. There is, if I remember correctly, one in the cargo container of the parking lot of the Hiveplex. We usually keep them there. Oh, well, I'm already uh, building one, so too late. Okay, I am being far more aggressive with this asteroid than I would normally ever be. 